Hi, this is Al, and it is February uh, the 2nd, 2013, and I wanted to do uh, a follow-up to the aquaponic system, and that is the greenhouse where we're experimenting with, and if everything goes well, this will be expanded to a much larger uh, greenhouse. <coughs> uh, so aquaponics uh, is a system where you... Uh, grow uh, plants uh, or vegetables in our case and, and uh, also fruits that you could uh, using fish and the vegetables and recycling the fish waste through the plants who clean the water and, and then the clean water goes back to the fish so uh, what we've done uh, since our last video so this would be part seven is I cut out a hole uh, on the doors uh, so far I only got three but I put some uh, material in front of it to keep animals from getting in uh, but essentially that is to keep the air from flowing uh, well into it and then I can bring down uh, for example the covers at night uh, if the temperature drops too low I could do the same thing with the bottom one here and uh, we have a fan on the inside that circulates the air properly uh, so there is air circulation in the system as you can see the grow beds have all been planted uh, they were planted about three days ago with uh, uh, plants that we bought at uh, Lowe's and Home Depot that were already pre-potted and what we did is we pulled them out and carefully washed the roots with water and then we planted them in the trays we've also uh, put in a a misting system inside the shed to keep the or inside the greenhouse to keep the uh, humidity quite high uh, so let's take a quick look at what that looks like right now Let me open the door real quick. and we have some of the plants that usually are on the outside we brought them in here for the winter time and uh, in a week or so I will get a uh, uh, a backhoe or an excavator and then uh, those plants will actually be planted out here as well as all of those and we'll finally uh, have our space uh, properly done but you can see that tube that uh, flows around there's a mister uh, a misting system right there another uh, misting uh, nozzle over there we started with one wasn't enough I just started the second one today we're gonna monitor it for a few days see how that goes and then we'll continue adding to make sure that the humidity level stays high enough. Our grow beds uh, have now uh, been planted and we have two types of tomato here. We have uh, homestead heirloom tomatoes and we have romas. I have uh, red uh, sweet onions here and we have uh, uh, Jersey Wakefield uh, back there. Over here we have um, head lettuce and back there we have uh, some uh, cabbage, I believe. Yeah, Bunny's uh, best cabbage. And then some broccoli here. And back there, uh, we have 45 day cabbage. We have white onions in this one. And over there, we have some red cabbage and some additional room in the back. We've also put seeds uh, to germinate over here. And we started them about three, four days ago. So, in about a couple of weeks, uh, we're going to have some plants growing out of here and we have several varieties in here. I'll show you real quick uh, the system that we're using. So we know that we have lettuce in the first three rows on the left and then we have celery and we have three rows, three rows of spinach, uh, three rows of bok choy and one row of papayas and you can see we already are seeing some growth. Uh, that's probably too close but we are seeing some growth in there already. And so that's quite fantastic. That's actually coming out really well. And then, uh, so those will go, some of that will go in that spot over there. Uh, as soon as I move these uh, plants out of here, then I will add additional trays here. So in the next couple, couple of weeks when those things are ready to be transplanted over here, we'll have that room. Uh, if you recall the tank that I was putting together, it's all done. So let me show you a little bit of what we've done here. Uh, I added a thermostatically controlled fan. There's a thermostat and the wire or the sensor for the uh, for the fan is in there right now as you can tell it's not it's not on because the temperature isn't high enough at this point it is uh, barely about 80 degrees in here uh, and I think uh, those thermostats are actually wrong so I'm gonna go get 
Some new thermostats tonight and I'll shoot another video. They are reading way too high. The temperature here feels more like 70 degrees to me. Uh, but you can see that I added a, a tank heater. That's a 1500 watt tank heater that goes in there that's thermostatically controlled. And I have a 260 gallon per hour recirculating pump at the bottom of this tank here that what it does essentially it, it pumps water from the bottom up to that water heater whenever it needs to come on and then it comes back out to here to oxygenate the water. The water level right now is too high. Uh, there are no fish in the tank. Right now the water only contains a solution, a, a, a quarter strand solution of uh, concentrated, uh, concentrated uh, seaweed uh, extract. Uh, so when we have fishing here, we're going to start with uh, 100 uh, fingerlings of um, goldfish initially because if uh, we're just in the learning experience right now, the uh, learning stages, I don't want to spend the money for tilapia or something like that and spend, you know, two, three hundred dollars and then have something, some event happen while we're learning that'll wipe them out. So, uh, uh, clearly we need, I need a nozzle in there that, uh, that will spray out the water better. This is, this spray bar here is going to get raised uh, about six inches, it's going to be above that bar there. So uh, we'll, we'll have proper uh, oxygenation into the water. And uh, I think we're pretty much uh, set at this point. Right now we're in a, uh, in a stage where uh, all of the grow beds are flooding and ebbing uh, properly. You can see uh, probably here that uh, there is one that is draining at this point here. If we watch it long enough, you can see one that's kind of started already in the back back there and uh, it'll get quite strong this one is already stopping that one will get going you can see it's already going pretty good so uh, the system is working as designed and uh, it's working quite well uh, there's also a, uh, a test kit in there uh, with uh, some uh, pH lowering acid in there uh, I've been checking the pH the ammonia level is zero right now nitrate is zero pH was 7.4. I added a half a cup of acid and it dropped it down 0.2 down to 7.2. Uh, it's been about three hours. I'm going to add another uh, half a cup and drop it down to 7. And I'll continue to do that until I get it to about 6.8 and then we'll stabilize it there. Uh, and then uh, once I see the ammonia and the uh, nitrate cycle uh, once, then uh, I'll know that I'll be in good shape to go ahead and add the fish. So uh, I thought you find uh, I thought you might want to see this. Thought you might find this useful. The system is working just as the, as we designed it. Uh, it is uh, properly, you know, getting the the nutrition to the plants. We've not seen any plant die since we put them in the trays three days ago. Uh, that might be a plant over here. That's an exception. I think we uh, kind of messed up the roots when we were clean it and put it in there but I mean that's to be expected the rest are doing quite well they have good color uh, they look vigorous they're standing up uh, quite well uh, so I think we got a good thing going here uh, and this is an experiment so we're gonna find out very quickly how many more uh, misting nozzles we're gonna need to keep the uh, humidity high I'm obviously gonna get gonna need a better fan here uh, and then we'll see come summertime how hot this thing gets and you know we may have to I may have to end up getting like an awning type uh, set up on top where I can roll it in roll it out and just kind of regulate the temperature uh, appropriately but uh, you know baby steps uh, we're gonna see uh, how this goes I've recorded uh, how many plants we planted of what type when we planted them both from seedlings or from seed and both from the ones that we purchased and we're going to uh, figure out what the density per uh, cubic foot or per, per cubic yard is uh, so we can kind of get an idea we're going to document the growth rate uh, we're going to be measuring our water quality on a daily basis for the first probably 30 days or so so we're probably going to need a, another one of those kits uh, but i think that's uh, totally necessary to learn exactly how the system is going to behave 
how well things are going to get adjusted and so on. And once we introduce the fish there, that's going to be another variable. So I first want my system to stabilize on cycle through ammonia nitrate once in here with the vegetables that we have. Then we'll introduce the fish, we'll begin feeding them and we'll monitor, you know, what changes that make to ammonia and nitrates and then we'll adjust the feeding as necessary. So, uh, I hope this was useful to you. Uh, you know, you don't need to worry about it in my experience. If you do something like this, buy the thermostatically controlled fan in the back there. Do not worry about buying dampers in the front, uh, especially if you live in a hot environment like we, like we have here in South Texas. Uh, it's not something that you're going to have to worry about. You're going to have to probably cut more holes. We, we started with that one. It was getting way too hot. So we ended up having to cut more. Now we're at the point where we can keep the doors closed. And when the fan comes on by itself, it's, it's able to pull enough air uh, to keep it going and uh, keep it steady. So thanks for watching, everybody. We'll do an update, another update in a week or so when uh, things are uh, you know developing and uh, we'll keep you posted god bless you and thanks for watching